So using render layers is a great way to isolate your objects from its surroundings, but yet using or uh, getting the influence from other objects, for instance, the light bouncing of other objects onto your main object without having to deal with it in comp. So we want to render out, for instance, this guy here alone, have him totally alone on the on the render layer, yet get the light bounces from the ground and, and possibly from the uh, side objects here. So what we want to do is we want to go into our uh, render layer setup. And first we need to make our render layer and we're going to do call it uh, hero our layer and uh, the folder which will be created in uh, Windows will uh, have this name here so try to have it descriptive and, uh, and to the point so what we want in the layer is obviously the lights from the scene and what is in the lights or in the lights um, group is uh, the key light the fill lights um, that should be uh, just middle mouse dragged over to the layer from from the render setup uh, and then we want to make sure that we have all of these objects in here now the objects that I want to have visible I'm gonna have uh, separate from the ones that I want to have invisible so having this selected um, I'm gonna create a collection and a collection is just a collection of objects from Maya. So here I'm just gonna say hero uh, geo visible, and I'm gonna add that object to that collection. Now I'm gonna make another collection, and I'm gonna call that hero geo hidden. And for that collection, I'm going to select the psych, gray, chrome, glass, subsurface scatter, geo, and I'm going to add those in here. Now, for this uh, collection, I need a override. What I need is uh, the attribute on the uh, shape node of one of the objects that I want to um, override. So the <coughs> all the objects have their uh, transform node and then they have their shape node and in the shape node or underneath the shape node there is the um, render stats and in render stats there's what's called primary visibility now if I take that and I actually turn that off it will all these objects that I turn it off on here uh, they will be calculated but they won't appear in the render so any light that's bouncing or reflections or stuff like that, those will be com uh, computated, but you won't turn up as a rendered image. So what I need to do is middle mouse drag the primary visibility over here to the uh, hidden geo. And uh, in the override, I need to turn off the primary visibility. So, uh, but in this collection, I don't know why this is happening. Maybe I'm just taking an extra step here. But uh, so far, uh, I need to add the same objects that I have in this select in this selection. So if I just select all of these, go back here and I add. So now I have all of these objects that are in this collection. <laughs> They're in this collection as well, but they need to be in here for the primary visibility to be turned off. Now, if I, if I click on uh, this icon here, they, when I render, we'll actually render what's on the uh, render layer. Now, if I, if I click on this guy, we'll actually render just the scene as it is. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and render up this render layer. I'm going to see what comes up. Uh, you might see here a previous test that I did. So... It's taken a while to render here, though there's nothing here. There's The ball is here, or the four balls are here. So it needs to actually calculate that. So this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the ball alone, or the hero object alone. But I can see that it's a little darker here because it's actually being, uh, the lights and the light and shadows are uh, being affected by the, the ground object. 
uh, I think the spheres on the right here are far enough away from this object, so they're not really contributing to anything. Uh, but if I go to my alpha, I can see I only have one object in there. So everything is set the way it's supposed to. So for another render layer, I want to have the background object alone without any of the other uh, objects in there. But obviously there's shadows being affected on the uh, ground by the hero object. So I'm going to do pretty much the same thing as I did with this layer. I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it BGR layer. Uh, I'm going to middle mouse drag the lights in there. I want all of those. And, <clears throat> and let's see the uh, psych or the background geo. I want that in a uh, collection. So I'm going to create that collection. So I'm going to call BG geo uh, visible. And then psych is going to be added here. There you go. Now in the background layer, I want to create another collection and I'm going to call that BG geo hidden. And the same thing goes for all of the other ones. I have to add them. So uh, gray ball, chrome, glass, uh, hero, and subsurface scattering. I'm gonna add those in there. Now for the uh, for the, that collection, I need again I need that primary visibility uh, override. So middle mouse drag primary visibility over there. Uh, I have these objects selected, so I can just add them to that collection again, and then make sure that I have primary visibility on or off so um here everything is the way it should be let's see if i select this guy um go here that's primary visibility off and here is off sorry in the scene without render layers it's correct primary visibility is on now, if I select the hero layer, that's correct, that's off. And now when I go to my uh, background render layer, it's on again. That's why. That's what I want. So I want that object hit, uh, visible, but everything else hidden, right? So let's see. So that one is on. Primary visibility off, 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 off. So yeah, now it seems like everything is set up the right way. And <clears throat> I'm looking through the background render layer. So at this point, uh, ev everything is correct. I should just see the background and nothing else. But you'll see the effects of the objects around them. So we should have a shadow here, or maybe some shadow here. Yeah, here we go. I mean, it's noisy as hell, but uh, I just wanted it to be very um, um, quick render. But it's, I'm thinking I actually have some uh, too many rays, maybe. But uh, the samples are really low. Uh, so you get what I'm saying here. So this uh, image, I would uh, load into Nuke. And then I would load in the other object or the hero object, and I would just merge that on top of this here. So I could actually uh, color correct this individually from the from the um, the other geometry. It, may, it could even put a let's say a poster on the wall here or something, and it wouldn't affect anything else. So this is what render layers do, and I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the um, the other objects, but. Um, I'm not going to be recording that. I don't think you need to see that. It's pretty much exactly the same setup again the third time around. But I hope this uh, helped you out.